combustion testing should be done upon installation of the HTP Phoenix water heater and is mandatory to complete field gas conversions. To do this, you will need a recently calibrated combustion analyzer, a quarter inch drill, and either a quarter inch tap for a threaded plug or UL approved foil tape to seal test port upon completion of testing. Test port should be drilled approximately 12 inches from the breech. This port must be sealed with either a threaded plug or UL approved silver tape upon completion. After appropriate hole has been drilled, insert adapter into the test hole. Leave meter wand out of exhaust until ignition has been established. Combustion testing must be done in service mode. Levels should be taken in high fire and also in low fire. Expected high and low fan speeds as well as CO and CO2 levels are provided in the installation and operating manual. Testing should be done first in high fire followed by low fire. To access service mode on the Phoenix models, press and hold the S2 and S3 buttons for 3 seconds. The control will display SER and the ignition speed. After ignition has been established, press the S2 plus button until display reads unit's high fan speed. Refer to the installation manual for specific fan speeds for particular models. Once unit is in the high fire, insert test probe into test hole and begin to sample combustion. Allow levels to become stable before deciding if adjustment is necessary. If it has been decided an adjustment is needed, the throttle screw will be utilized to adjust combustion either up or down. This adjustment is done using the throttle screw. The throttle screw is located on the top of the gas valve. It is a small brass screw that is identified by the plus and minus etched into the valve body. The throttle screw is used to adjust overall combustion and should be adjusted in high fire. If combustion levels need to be increased, turn throttle screw in small increments counterclockwise and allow analyzer to sample. If it has been determined that combustion levels need to be increased, you will turn the throttle screw in small increments counterclockwise, allowing analyzer to sample and adjust as necessary to achieve optimal combustion, typically set to the middle of the combustion levels to allow variance either way. Once proper CO and CO2 levels have been achieved, bring fan speed down into low fire using the S1 minus button. Once unit is in low fire, verify combustion levels are within range. If low fire combustion varies drastically from high fire, a small manifold pressure adjustment will be needed. Manifold pressure should be set to negative .01 on a manometer, or a slight dip in CO2 from high fire to low fire. Manifold pressure adjustment should be performed only if high and low fire vary drastically. To raise combustion levels or bring manifold pressure towards positive, turn 2 mm Allen screw clockwise. To adjust combustion levels down or bring manifold pressure negative, turn 2 mm Allen screw counterclockwise in very small increments. After low fire adjustments have been performed, raise fan speed into high and verify high fire combustion is still within range. After testing has been completed, return unit to normal operation by pressing S1 and S2 simultaneously and to be sure to plug or seal test port.